Okay, uh, before we get started here, uh, if you're looking at that bar in the background thinking that is really impressive, you um, should note that it's only one third of what you see. Okay, now let's have some fun. So I've got the turbine with the magnetic stirrer in it. We'll just drop that in. And turn our stirrer on. I'll let it slowly get going here if you if you juice it too fast. It'll wobble and the magnet will jump the uh, jump the track. And so the first thing I've noticed is that the the tip of the spinning top seems to kind of bounce around on the little bump that's in on the bottom of the of the tank. So I think drilling a little dimple and making a sharper tip are going to be uh, big improvements to, to the stability. Um, if I slide this just slightly, sometimes I can get it to there we go to do a little better. And so that's a pretty that's about as fast as I've been able to get it predictably. Uh, if I turn it up too fast, it'll eventually trip and when once the, the turbine bounces off the bottom the wrong way, it'll kick the magnet up out of its grooves. But uh, it's, I don't have the the top lid, the turbine lid printed. That's on the printer right now. But this is this was I could not resist um, testing it. So I think the first thing to note is one we can definitely spin a prop or an impeller with our magnetic stirs, no problem. Um, I don't know how much flow we're actually getting here versus just kind of a swirling vortex, but um, we should do some experiments. There goes a drop of food coloring, and we can put this down here underneath and see. Yeah, see, that's mostly slinging it outward. Okay, what happens if I try to put some underneath it? Yeah, a little bit's getting pulled up through the blades, but not much. And if I put some in the center, it mostly just stays in the center. It doesn't. So, um, too early to tell yet, but I have a suspicion we might have to make a little enclosure and set the filter on top of the enclosure and just let the impeller pull fluid through it. So I, I wonder if spinning this thing with the filter in it is going to be able to get enough flow through the filter. But we can drop the filter in. There we go. So let me get this settled down here. Okay, so yeah, so I don't know how much fluid is actually going down through that cup and being pushed out the sides. I mean, the vortex is certainly there. But that doesn't mean the water is moving down and through. It just means it's moving around in circles. One more time here. 